Hi there. Now for this part of the question, we are asked to work out the perimeter of the scraper. And the answer turns out to be 40.9 centimeters then to three significant figures. And the way we do this is just to take the angle that we got in the first part, part A. In radians, it was 0 0.9056 and so on, okay? And then to get the angles either side here, they're equal, I've just taken pi radians, the equivalent of 180 degrees, taken away the angle that we found in part A, and then divided it by 2. So as you can see, that gives us the angle AOD, which is the same as angle COB, 1.1179 and so on radians. Now, that enables me to find out the arc length AD, which will be the same as the arc length CB. And to get an arc length, all I'm doing is taking a fraction of the circumference of a complete circle. That fraction will be the angle, 1.1179 and so on, okay, compared with 2 pi radians, that's the angle for a complete turn around a circle, okay, and then times, that's of, times the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r. The 2 pi's cancel, and that just leaves you with the angle times the radius, which I know a lot of you use if you're working with radians. I just prefer to show the working though that those two pi's cancel. So anyway, working that out, you don't have to be in radians mode to do this. It will work in any mode and you should get 8.9438 and so on centimeters. So when it comes to working out the perimeter of the scraper, we've got two lots of the arc length Okay, and then we've got plus the 7 and plus the 16 on the bottom here. And as I say, that comes to 40.9 centimetres when rounded up to three significant figures. Don't forget, you can check out video tutorials on working out arc lengths of sectors on my website if you're stuck. Okay.